It's me, Pops Fan Marmalade, and you're watching the Comics Related Madness Network. Uh huh. So come get some. Cromcon. Cromcon. Hey, my Dirk Manning here, the writer and creator of numerous comic books and graphic novels, including Nightmare World, Tales of Mystery, Way But Not Dead, uh, all kinds of stuff. And I am super excited for you because you are getting to watch right now, right this moment, out of all the things we're going to be doing, you're getting to enjoy and revel in the Madness Comic Network. And that is awesome. Thank you for being here. In a small town unlike any other, Lisa and her husband Ray were away from home for a long time. The stress of the world brought them back to their homestead to recharge. The entire family is reuniting once again for a time of faith, food, and fun. The whole town is invited. Come join Ray and his family for the feast of a lifetime. Welcome to the picnic. Slaughterville Book 3, The Cannibal Rednecks, is a 66-page, full-color story of love, loss, and family, set in the small town of Slaughterville. Look for it on your favorite crowdfunding platform. <laughs> that is too good. What do you think, Doc? What do you think? That's it is uh, macabre. I love it. It's it's a hallmark moment. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Doc and I are here to play a game. Again. We're back. What's up, Bug? What's up? What's up? All right. Where in West Side are you? West Side's kind of... Never mind. I see you. Do you see me over here on your map? Yep. Okay. I'm up in the air, but yeah. This is now, where the, the interesting thing is... I think, actually, let me go check. I think at level 15, we can just go to the regular missions instead of the crisis in the desert. Let me check. I'm over here by Until Defender. We had Gable in the chat trolling us before we even got here, Doc. He said, hey. online, more like Gramps Online. Am I right? <laughs> well, I mean, you are right, sir, but you know, <laughs> all that means is I have succeeded at living longer than you have. <laughs> I mean, for me, it means the experience because I'm still 25. I just have 35 years experience. All right. So... Oh. Here's what we're going to do. We'll just kind of hang right here, and I'm going to queue us up for a burst alert, which will randomly team us with other players. You will be leveled up to level 30 while you're in there. And uh, but don't get cocky. Because they'll whoop your ass. Well, so, you get in there with a the healer that knows what they're doing, right? Uh, you don't always get a healer. Let's go down here to Kodiak where the safe spot is. He says, let's go. And he just takes off like I can see what direction he jumped in. <laughs> He's like, let's go. Kodiak. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You act right like I also have this map. Right memorized. down the street. He acts like I have the map memorized from years of playing. <laughs> I'm standing in the same spot. There you go. All right. Now, I'm going to run over here real quick. As he jumps. And uh, pick out a car. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I like the black one. I'm just saying. Well, I like the ones I can pick up. <laughs> I'm going to throw it 
and bust this guy in the head with it. I'm not even like, okay, finally. It's like I'm sitting here, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. Can I play too? Oh, there it is. All right, see where it says ready? Hit ready. Let's go back over here. Okay, at the mall. Yep. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> now, the reward for this is a is about, well, it's a lot of XP, but it also gives you an XP boost that just keeps running for, I think, for an hour. Stay with me. Don't, don't get ahead of me. Because this is a good place to die. If you're new. We have one support character that may or may not be a healer. Look, we got a Belmont in here. <laughs> but a Miguel. A Miguel Belmont. Yep. All right. Open fire. Not a good sign. Okay, that guy's a healer. But he's kind of low level. He gets hard. He's a level 40. Which is good. We'll let him flex and we just ride his coattails. All right, three guys down here. Happy crab. The Boy, happy. if that ain't a comic fucking. So this is uh, Vibora Bay, which is supposed to be like Baton Rouge. I mean, not Baton Rouge, New Orleans. Oh, I took a shot there. Damn. Yeah, hopefully the healers will. Okay, he can stop hitting me anytime. That'd be good. <laughs> Badass dude in front of him, and he's all smacking me. There we go. I'm just stand right here. I love the cars in this game. Yeah. Socrates to warp out. Oh, let me tell him grats. Switch to local chat here. So there used to be a place here in town, Pops, uh, until it went out of business years ago. It had been the longest continuous running restaurant in Georgia. It was called Fred's Footlongs. Little hole in the wall place that served the best chili dogs you've ever had in your life. Well, they just reopened. 
And I thought, well, hot dog, man, pardon the pun. So I called the wife. I said, hey, Fred's is reopened. Do you want to get, she's like, hell no. She said, a chili dog there costs $14. I went, oh, what? Holy crap. Right? Like, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. Damn. We can get two packs of hot dogs, two packs of buns, and a bunch of chili for that. <laughs> That's what I'm screaming. I got dogs in the freezer. I got chili in a can. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's that cheap chili that I really don't like. It's like runny snot. Ugh. But I always add a little uh, garlic powder to it and you know, a little chili uh, powder. Make some it better. cheese, some onions. Come on. Yep, yep. We don't have any onion. Mm. But I started back on my diet today, so I've eaten very, very small portions and very lightly today. Nope, oh, get away from me. Let's go back over here and raid this parking lot again. Bust this guy right in his noodle with a car. <laughs> there we go. All right, this this guy that's a villain, the psycho, right across the street. I'm gonna hit him with a trash can. Bam! What's up, dude? That's what I'm talking about. Hi, Carrie. What's up, Carrie? Hello, Carrie. Um, one thing I will do is here in a little while, I'm going to bring up one of my 40s and show you a few things that you need to be building toward as you build. Wait, let me do it. I got to do lookout meal. <laughs> Carrie said, damn, hope lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Check them out. Bam. You know how to use your remotes? I don't mess with that stuff, dude. Okay. But you're going to need to because there's a tradition in this game when you run across a friend, you click on the little word balloon by your chat, go up to emotes, and we bow. You bow. We bow to our friends. It's a greeting. <laughs> All right. Click ready. Here we go. Uh, hold on. I'm looking at this. Hold on. How about Yeah, how about that? Uh, it's the best you're gonna get. Yeah, but you didn't click on me, so it didn't say cheers for bug. <laughs> Here we go. Make sure your dentures are in tight, your glasses are snug on your head, your depends are fresh. And let's go in here. Same, same battle. Let's hope we got a good healer. Uh, your your boy Cap Infinity wants to know when you're going to do your next talking stream because he has something he wants to talk about. Um, my show is on Wednesdays. And I will be live tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have the same healer we had last time. Yeah, the same what? Same healer we had last time. <laughs> Usually when you're doing this, you get the same people and they're doing it. You're doing it. It depends. And I'll, and I'll show you on what it depends here in a minute. Why is my dude not doing anything? Jeez. He doesn't like you. I mean, just standing there. I'm clicking hit, shoot, shoot, shoot. And he just like stand there. I don't know if it's lag or. Sometimes he'll shoot just fine. Sometimes he just stands there. No, we don't have that big DPS monster with us this time. So. All 
All right, healer, look sharp. All right, healers will sleep on the job. Oh, the DPS guy went and took out the three big bosses in the corner, or sub bosses, by himself. See, that's just it, Captain Finity. You're paying attention to the drama, and that's why it bugs you. We don't pay attention to it. We're just doing comics. Well, pay no attention to it. I don't, but if other people do, that's that's fine too. I mean, he's like, oh, I'm about to switch mediums because of this BS, and it's like, that's what I'm saying. We don't, we don't let their BS bug us, man. Do your thing. Ah, uh, Cap, you, you just stay the course, brother. You do what you were doing. Look at him run, huh? Ouch. Okay, healer. Oh, healer's down. He went down. And then he called for help. Nobody can res you, dude. You're the healer. Can I please get out from under the chair? Thank you. Okay, take him down right now. Bam! <sighs> Always thank the healer. Even when they do a poor job of it. <laughs> All right, so if you'll look at the screen, my screen. Um, do I have to leave here? I haven't even left here yet. Hold on. look at the screen when I hit search for emergencies under alerts if it says there's three kinds of alerts there's grabs bursts and smashes all right bursts are the second one down those give uh, modification items you don't even need to worry about those right now the third one gives you gold and the first one grabs will give you experience um, if grabs is the on deck one from the alerts coordinator, then it's going to populate quickly because even the level 40s are doing it to get the rewards. <clears throat> right now it's not, so we've been lucky to get teamed up as quickly as we have. All right, so Benedict's talking about the, the stuff, and he said that. Uh, the stuff has impacted the availability of his artist. Uh, everyone seems to be ignoring the fact that Dillard has also been drawing his book for 12 months now. And the only thing I can say to that is 12 months. It's not really a long time for making a comic, but I'll say, I'll say this. Um, Infinity, I, I don't know the story to your book, my brother. Uh, I have seen some of the art from it, and of course it looks good. It's John Dillard. Um, I would say stay the course because I, for one, intend to back you. I want to see your stuff. I would say well, don't I, uh, let what other people are doing affect what you're doing. Yep. Pariah took me a year to do and that surprised me because um when i worked in comics in the 90s i had to do 20 pages a month but all i had to do was pencil i didn't have to ink it letter it you know do all the other stuff as well i wasn't even the writer on those books well i did self-publish one um but i didn't have to ink it or letter it or color it or any of that stuff so it surprised me that it took me as long as it did. Now, Pops will tell you, I did a whole 
fuck ton of redraws. Yeah. I mean, look, when you're doing it for yourself, there's no deadline. There's no expectation. You're doing it at your speed. When you're doing it for somebody else. Yeah. If you're on the clock. Don't take on, on clock. other jobs. Don't do that. Get that one done. Then go to the next one, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if you're taking on other jobs that affect the timeline of the original job you had, that ain't cool. Yeah, I mean, my my take on it was always if I'm on the clock for somebody, here we go again. Uh, bank robbery is the second easiest one. Um, if I'm on the clock for somebody, I always felt so much pressure, man. I just I just worked. Yeah, like twelve hours a day. Uh, I could at my fastest, I could do a page and a half a day. I remember at one point for this one company i was working for and pops knows the character i'm talking about yep um i was doing two titles for them for a couple of months uh so i had to really speed up thank god i had a great inker who was just even faster than i was here we go Same healer. Here we go. Boing. All right, go. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just kind of follow the pack. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I did hope that this is what I, these are what I was doing when I was out here by myself. Yeah, I was going to say they'll dogpile you though, so, you know, don't, don't get too deep in there. See, look, I thanked the healer last time. Now I'm getting heals. You can level fairly quickly doing these. One of the, one of my friends in here, he never even finished the mission arcs of the game. He just did these to get to forty. Well, I mean, I I figured trying to do the missions by myself was going to be ridiculous without a healer and without you know financing for a lot of heals and shit like that. Well, this when is I, actually doing these, these is, you know when you know you got a healer that. It's a big difference, you know. Yeah, but you won't always have one in here. Well, I mean, still, it's a team. When you got tanks, you got other people drawing fire, you're not just the guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I have been in some of these where it's a bunch of low levels, and then, like, one or two will leave. Man, you talk about a struggle. It's uh, It can be rough. Left. Smack me through a column. I'm drawing a lot of fire for some reason. Because somebody aggroed the whole board. I got killed. I was drawing all kinds of fire. Man, it's like it's not that you were drawing it. This this purple geo ranger person here. Oh no, I'm the only one in the room. Help! Oh, Help! Oh, I'm being oppressed. Healer, wake the hell up. So should I wait here or recover? Oh, you recover. <laughs> that dead? was rude. Can you find your way back? I'm back. He brought me right back in. Okay. I just didn't know what I was supposed to be doing. It doesn't always bring you back in. Oh, that heel was pitiful. Would you please let me? Can I just please hit the guy? Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Can I shoot an arrow, please? Can I, can I just shoot an arrow? Just one. Damn, they aggroed this room, too. 
Well, that's why we got slammed because somebody aggroed a second room. <laughs> they aggroed the whole lobby in this room. That'll do it every time. You watch somebody in chat will say something about it too. It's probably the big dude just thinking he can handle it all anyway, right? Or it's a newbie with a big AOE and they don't realize what they're doing. All right, healer, wake up. likes the Zerg room. I'm going to let him go in and see which mob he stirs up first before I go in. I mean, I'll go in, but I'll hang back. All right, left-hand mob. Whoa, I got blasted. the love around a little bit. Oh, how dare you. Oh. Come back here, you big metal bastard. Oh, what happened? I got blanked out of the screen again. Shit. I did. Yep. Now, if you look up at the top where it says Black Talon, you can see who he's targeting. Now he's targeting me. If he targets, you block. Uh, you got me. Hit the damn shoot the arrows. Actually, I'm not even a tank, but I'm kind of tanking him. I didn't even see he was targeted on me, but he got me with something an AOE. Moves away, keeps moving out of range. Big boy. Oh, me. Okay, that was exciting. 
Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. <laughs> One more of those and I'll level up. Me too, it looks like. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, all I need oh, is, yeah. All I need is 10,000. Say what? All I need is 10,000 to level. Uh, I need like 29. Might take two more for you. Hey, you with the face. Hold this. Ready? So where would be the next person I would talk to for like individual missions? Uh, once we level up to 16, you'll be able to go to the desert and uh, I'll show you. Well, we were in the desert last time. No, we were in the desert crisis. Oh. That's an event. Oh, I see. Same map though. Yeah, pretty close. It's a couple of differences. You see the onslaught target on the map? What is that? There's a thing called uh, Onslaught, and that's where you get to switch and play a villain, one of the super villains. Ah. And typically what we do with that is, like, I'll go turn into Gron, but I go stand up in uh, the Ren Center and put in chat passive OV, passive Onslaught villain. And you just let them come in and kill you so everybody gets the uh, points for doing it. And... Uh, then, you know, they'll do the same for you. It's kind of a game hack. I have 28 until recognition points. Yep. I'll show you where to spend those. Uh, but they're not really... There's nothing really good to get until you get max level. It used to be that uh, you could get support tunes like a sidekick, a temporary sidekick, that kind of thing. Uh, and you still can, but now you only get one use out of them when you buy them with Until Recognition. Okay, let's do this one. But after this one, I have to take a two, three minute break and set up uh, Ginger Show real quick. Copy that. Dun, 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 the bank robbery and we have the same healer again who's not really all that good uh -huh. oh he actually threw some heal on me <laughs> he heard you talking what would you do if these people were watching <laughs> right <laughs> They're listening to us talk and shit. <laughs> this mean most. Speaking of which, I'll have to introduce you to a couple of my in game friends and acquaintances that are good to call on if you need help with a mission or something.
that is not at all what I said to you, sir. Wow, that one hurt. Don't you run away from me, you big metal bastard. Kiss my shiny metal ass. Damn, dude, that voice actually scared me. I grow the whole room again. Don't know. <sighs> so far, it looks like they learned their lesson. <laughs> Ow, quit it. Get out of my way or something. <laughs> no, don't let me get in your way or anything, sir. two support characters in here, that's why. from it. <clears throat> Big old fart cloud hanging there. That's nasty. Say what? Big fart cloud just hanging right there. <laughs> Somebody creamed their britches. I thought you was talking to your dog or something. <laughs> Not today. Good heels. 2,000 points. Ouch. I felt that one. <laughs> Fucking felt that one for sure. <laughs> Let me give you some of that back. Yeah, take that. Critical for twelve hundred. Yeah, yeah. Critical for twenty two ninety eight. Yeah, yeah. Take some of that back, bitch. Huh. Ready? Bang! Bang! 
Ben. I like them 2,000 crits. Those are good. Bang! 2430. Bang! 1393. Big fart cloud. <clears throat> and he's dead. And a level. Yeah. It just says I'm level 30. <laughs> level 30. <laughs> I'm still in there. It just says I'm level 30. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Come on. Leave the map. Leave it. All right. I am going to, uh, we'll pause here for station identification. Yeah, I got to go set up a show real quick. I will be right back. Why don't you run a long commercial? Because I got to step away for a minute myself. I don't have a commercial long enough to do what I need to do, but I'll play something. Let me see. What do I got? In the meantime. This is the longest one I got. What do I got? We'll go with this one. Bringing you sex, sass, and style. Buckle up and unlock your imagination for a fun adventure with these death-dealing dames. They sail the galaxy in search of spoils. The most dangerous acquisition, and the most fruitful, are the legendary Splinters of Yggdrasil. The Splinters are magical artifacts forged from the Tree of Life that wreak havoc on the universe. The missions are perilous, but the bounty is glorious. Enjoy our hyper-fictional wonderland. How is a pirate ship sailing through space? Because magic. How do they heal so quickly after battle? Cause magic. How are they able to communicate through jewelry? Cause magic. It's all about the characters. Abo, rough, robotic, ready. Mo, carefree, callous, courageous. Mistress Graven, daring, diplomatic, dominating. Betsy, academic, accountable, aristocratic. Nefara. Ancient, assured, adrenaline junkie. Budo, proud, prominent, protective. Fisty, independent, incendiary, invigorating. Roxy, superficial, scarred, secretive. Once you get to know this diverse crew of mythical miscreants, you'll be anxious to find out what trouble they'll get into on the next episode. Go to abogrizzly.com and order both halves of the first episode today. Let me tell you what, Doc. I was about 10 seconds short of being mm -hmm. done. I had to play another one to finish up. I was that close. You I, did almost, good. I almost I had it done on the first one. Nice. Okay. So uh, I asked my friend Izzy, he's I Man, to uh, come down here and so I could introduce you guys. 
He's a nice young man to know. Mm -hmm. I do I do fly emotes. See that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> of course, Izzy has probably a worse computer than I do. He gets kicked all the time. He lags. Oh, man, I leveled up. I got to check and see if I got anything to get. Yeah, I've only got one point, so I got to save it. So, but you got spec, are you all your spec points filled up or what? No, no, no. I, I spent a spec point. I'm looking. My, my spec tree is different from yours. Right. I'm, a, I'm spending some of that, like, because most of my other stuff I'm spending offensively, I'm kind of leaning toward the defensive stuff and the spec points. Avoidance and dodge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That shit, right? Don't put anything in avoidance, but dodge, yes. Well, it's called evasion. Yeah, well, I'm just saying things that actually boost your what if you uh on the mini map, the second icon down on the right is a star. That's uh -huh. your uh stats. Right. So when you pull those up, you'll see your avoidance rating and your dodge chance. Uh, dodge is to actually dodge individual attacks aimed at you. Avoidance, it just reduces the amount of damage you take from like AOEs and stuff. So dodge is more important. Well, I mean, I'm just I'm just gonna feel all those things. That's what I'm saying. I'm just leaning toward defense on the ones I'm spending. No, no, hear me, hear me. Uh, you want to put points into things that give you dodge? Hold on. I got one quick reflexes. I've spent one. Let me let me finish what I'm saying, and then with your gear, with your gear, you can put some into defense like constitution and endurance. But with your stats and your abilities, you want DPS. You want to you want to be a DPS monster. Okay. Well, I'm already three of three in combat training. Okay. Okay. You'll, uh, you'll have more. So I'm looking at the, you know, the rest of it, and it's like quick reflexes. Yeah, you kind of want that. You know, uh, I'm looking at deadly aim. That'll be next. You know, uh, but I'm just trying to be all around because I do do a lot of playing by myself. And if you don't got a healer, man, the less damage you take, the better. You know. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's true, but you're, you are never, never, never going to be able to tank anything as a DPS. So you just want to, like I said, I'll, bring, I'll, 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 grab one of my, I'll grab one of my 40s and show you what the stat balance looks like on a good one. I do a lot of kiting and a lot of hit and run, dude. Hit and run, yeah. hit and run, dude. All right, Izzy is on his way down here to us. I Look mean, in the end, this is a lot like playing a druid in EverQuest. Your never quest, you know. So, his oh, character is I Man. We call him Izzy. Uh huh. Because uh, his, I think his name's Isaac. You got Tree Goblin over there. Hey, Tree Goblin. Yep, lots of playing by myself. I didn't say with myself. A playing with myself. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Izzy. See Stephen Smythe over there? Yeah. All right, right behind you. Oh man, give him a bow. Oh, dude, Jesus Christ! He fucking bows and shit. He didn't bow. He waved. Yeah. See? Okay. Whatever. In team chat, you can say hi. Uh, now then he bowed. Jeez. Um, I wish there was points. This is this emote stuff is weird to me. Tell him I'm slow. I'll get it. You can type to him and to, he's on our team. <laughs> There you go. Like He's on our team. You can speak to him in team chat. <sighs> Did it work? No. Uh, in your chat window on yeah. the left hand side where the arrow is, 
click on it once, scroll up to team. Uh huh, uh huh. There you go. There you go. I just said, I just said it. You just said it, Pops. <laughs> you know. Right click on him. Live right now. If you right click on his icon and you scroll down, you'll see add friend. Send him a friend request. And then I'll show you where you can find that he's online if you need help with a mission. <laughs> Only because me and Doc are playing online, dude. <laughs> I'm going to tell him we're streaming right now. <laughs> So if we're live streaming right now, wave to the camera. Yep, yep, yep. That's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the madness. Carrie, will you just calm down? Calm down, Carrie. Calm down. Let's carry on about. She just all about that pops is playing by myself thing, and then you just said it pops, and you triggered much with that much of a bench fit, and blah 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 blah. blah. So, boys and girls watching, our friend Izzy says hello. <laughs> Izzy lives in Florida, and he plays a freeform character called I Man. So, what is he like a monk? Like a monk or a tank or what? It's DPS. Melee DPS. Like me, but a little bit different. His is martial arts, kung fu. Yeah, it's like a monk. <laughs> well, he also has ranged attacks because he's free form, which means you can land stuff. <laughs> Beware of the Viltramites. He loves the show Invincible. <laughs> He's only got the one character and he stays with his thing. <laughs> I think he's already reading my bio. Yeah, I'm looking at his stuff. <laughs> he's gonna put on put on his superhero outfit here for you. <sighs> do, 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 do. All right, so you got red, green, and yellow. The texts right in the in the description or in your uh, bio, right? In your bio, it's just white unless you uh, use no, a program. I'm about the, the thing you just had me, the star. When you click in the star. Yeah, when you click on the star. Okay, uh, I got stuff that's in red text, yeah, stuff yeah, that's yeah. in green text, and yeah. stuff that's in yellow text. Yes. Okay. What's good? What's bad? Because they don't tell you. Um, your your primary super stats are the three that are lit up the brightest. So for you, I think it's okay. Dex. I see that. I'm talking about on the other side. You, mm -hmm. I got three that are red and three that are green. Yeah, I know you'll 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 notice that if you actually let me finish a sentence, I'll address that stuff. So over on the right, the red stuff is your offense and your green mm -hmm. stuff is your defense so your offense is just your basic how much damage do you do crit chance is obvious crit severity same thing uh you really want to get your crits as high as you can as a dps and then your defense is like i said overall defense dodge is way more important than avoidance 
Okay, well, I'm I'm looking at it. And the only reason I was asking is I just wanted to know if red was bad and green was good. Nope, nope. Okay, all that right. was the, that was all the context I was at because I can see the percentages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah, right? no, red is not bad. Okay, um, okay. So my the, offense is like, uh, or my critical severity is fifty percent. Yep, same. Okay, uh, he's so, showing you his combat superhero outfit, so give him a thumbs up, which is an okay. emote you can use. Oh, dude, that looks or badass. You, or you can just tell him, "Cool." That is badass. You look like fucking space ghost, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like it. I like it. Big old eye on the chest. That's cool as hell. <laughs> yeah, we're we'll gonna kill shit. Is that what we're gonna do? We're gonna go yeah. Did you uh did you send him a friend request? Yes, I did. And he accepted. I do not know if he accepted or not. <laughs> He says, "Nice to meet you." <laughs> All right, we're going to the uh, to the jet. To the jet, he says, and he takes off. <laughs> yes, but you can still see me on the mini map. I'm following you. I just it's it's like when you take off, people can see where you're going. They don't even know I'm anywhere in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> well. We you're, what you want me to do about just on, dude? And it's like, okay, I'm catching up. Don't worry, everybody. I'm still playing and shit. <laughs> Dog fucking gone. All right. When you get to the plane, just click on travel to the Southwest Desert. Do we want to put this as the recovery place or is there one there? There's one there. Okay. There's going to be a cut scene. Just hit escape. All right, now. Don't I want to watch it the first time? I used to call this place. I, welcome to do whatever you want to do, brother. I've seen it a bazillion times. And radioactivity turned it into a wasteland suitable only for mutants. Mutants and monsters. Burning sands. Burning sands. Yeah. All right. All right, now. Press your M button to bring up your map. Oh, okay. That's new. I didn't know about that. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go north by north west. We're going to skip the uh, mutant fighting in the uh, desert, and we're going to the ghost town, which is called Burnside. So if you just follow me, we'll get there. Lickety split. Can we go over the wall or do we got to go through the tunnel thing? You now? can go over. Because I just got stuck on something. I don't even know what. And All if right. you come to my location, you want to read this sign and get your uh, lore points. Perk. Where are you at? Where are you at? I know I'm right on top of you, but where are you at? I don't see you. All on the ground. Yeah, I mean, I'm on the ground. I just, I'm looking around and I'm like, See your arrow, but I don't see you. I don't see you. There's a, there's a there's a big billboard. Okay, over there. Okay. Bring you to the side. Uh, Got it. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Now on foot. These glowing skeletons. It'll say investigate the skeleton. You want to do that? That's going to build your skill. Uh, not for me, just for you. Oh, okay, because you took arms for your know. skill. Click on the star again for your character sheet. Oh, yeah, um, arms, is, arms is my skill, yeah. All right, all right, well, all right. You want to kind of fly high to avoid contact, and we're going to Burnside, so we're going to skip all this area because these missions are bullshit. And then there's 
there's another sign here that you want to read. And this is a Wild West ghost town. Okay. Hit this save spot and let's talk to Witchcraft and she's going to give us missions. Phantasmal Acquisition. Get it? Greetings. Okay. 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 Got it. All right. All right, now, right over here are three ghosts. Right over here. Shoot one of them. Right, right over here are three ghosts. Right in front of me. Shoot one and block. I didn't see the third one, did you? Yep, you killed him on the first shot. Oh, Take. there's items on that one up there. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. I only I shot this guy. I did. I didn't do it. Uh, A uh, A O E. Yeah, I, I killed the other two. Oh, what did you say? I never even seen the second one come. I'm 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 not hitting this thing. What the hell? Oh, that one's mine. All right, now. Uh, press your I button. Mm -hmm. And then the third tab is the exclamation point. Do you have a thing called unmistakably evil black stone? I have nothing in there. Okay. Uh, let me stay right there for a second. Let me see if I can do this. And get it for both of us. that yep all right <clears throat> one more hold on and now i have south do you have yeah do you have long buried boots as a mission now um yes all right all right now the ghosts we kill are going to drop one of two things. Oh, let's uh, talk to the mayor over here. He's going to give us yet another mission that we can do at the same time. The reviled. All right. All right. Let's go kill some ghosts. We'll start with these two jokers right here. Got the loot right here. Who next? There's three guys right here. We'll take the two on the right. It says inventory full. Oh, I've already got that, I guess. That one. Okay, malignant blackstone. Didn't have one of those. All right, all right. All right, up there on the gallows is one of the four that we got to kill for the mayor. I and I fell down the hole. <laughs> <sighs>
All right. Phantasmal acquisition. Do you have complete? Uh, no, I have three. Okay. Pick up that one right beside you there. That's not, I, um, yeah, that wasn't that. It was a, that was a right. black stone or something okay. else. All right. Another bad guy right here. Burn it. <laughs> Good shot. And let's see what this is. Ectoplasmic residue. Now I have four. One more. All right. All right. Now, you need to fly. I still do not have. I still only have four. Yeah, that's fine. Go up high. And we're going this way. For you. Okay, that's five of those, and the reviled is done. Okay. Only got four of the black stones, though. Yeah, I've only got five, but we're going to do long buried boots real quick okay i just made it primary so follow the arrow and we'll dig them up we'll make it black stone yes All right, did, uh, did that complete long buried boots complete for you? Uh, it says exclamation marks the spot is what it is. I got to dig it up here. Interacting. Yeah. Yep. Got it. Okay, it said I received some old boots. Yep. All right, let's go this way. Gotta get some more of the black stones. Whoa, whoa, didn't mean to aggro those guys. Yeah, that guy, that guy can kill you. Sir, I got six. Yeah, I'm at eight. That was an unmistakably evil Blackstone. It says I already have one. Unmistakably evil ones. Okay, I need one more. Lootage. fire and interact with it. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I think you interacted with it. I don't think I did. 
Yeah, you know, they can be on fire. Yeah, you don't really want to stand in the fire. Yeah, it's not doing it. It must have done it for both of us. All right, do you show all complete? It says heat stones and ghastly fire, but it's not lighting up for me. Hmm. Let's go to a different ghastly fire. Follow me. <clears throat> right here. Yep, there we go. He hit me before I could do anything. They're hitting me. They're hitting me. It's not letting me do anything. Because you're on fire. Okay. There's Grand. Do not go over there. He will kill you quick. So do we want to like leave then? No, just stand here and block. <laughs> That's not what Ron meant. What's up, Billy Power Max Christian? What's happening, guys? What's up, fellas? <laughs> Christian's like, go ahead, stand in the fire. <laughs> All right, he's gone. <sighs> so let's talk to the mayor he was just kicking the shit out of. <laughs> okay, the reviled is complete. All right. Some better boots, yes. What do you want hoots accurate gauntlets? Oh, she. Yeah, she's an accurate gauntlet too, and I can put something in that if I can remember how to do it. <laughs> There's nothing to put in it right now. I don't see the boots that I just got, though. Where'd they go? Should be in your inventory. Um, looking in my inventory. Um, see it. And there's nothing in my eight slot bag either. So I don't know what happened to the boots I just got. Well, talk to him again. Make sure you got them. Huh? Talk to him again and make sure you got it. Well, it says I got it, but I don't see it in my inventory. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, All I have in my inventory is those uh, gauntlets. Maybe it auto equipped. Hit your I button and look at your equipment. Yeah, it's not. It's, that's my old boots. Uh, let's, go talk, let's go talk to the witch. We're off to the witch. We may never, never, never come home. You get the next one? Yeah. World of Witchcraft. Got it? Yeah, now hold on a second. I mean, the gauntlets I picked up are a little bit better, but not a lot better. I don't know. If they're better, equip them. I mean, they're taking 18 away from 18 from offense. But what do they give you for your stat? They add 20 to my decks. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, add four to my decks. Hold on. They add four to okay. my decks. 1.2 to my defense. Uh, that's what you want. I lose 16 intelligence. I lose 18 offense. And I get a little bit of extra critical severity. Mm, it's like is, a push. Yeah, you know that's, I mean? that's, that's a tough call. But if um, I could, once I can put a, a, a something in the slot, that might help. It. But right now, uh, I'll just leave it to uh, All right. While it's in your inventory. Hold down control and right click on it. 
Hold on, hold on. Hold down control and right click on it. Mm-hmm. Dad's no. just asking me to bind it. I mean, I can see the difference in the it's, stats. It's not it's a cursor. Wait, what? What did you oh. Huh? When you hit control, hold control and right click on it, it doesn't open it up. I, I just putting my cursor on it, I can see it compared to the other. I, I don't need you. That's <laughs> No, it's when I did that, it said bind item. Okay, that means it doesn't have a slot. I see a little a little circle. It's got a slot. All right, hold on a second here. That doesn't make any sense. I'm looking at it. It's got okay. a little slot right. there. I'm not I'm not arguing with you. <laughs> it says hold control and right click to modify item, but obviously I have to bind it first. It's uh, yeah. It's, it should already be bound. No, it's all, it always asks me to bind shit before I can equip it or anything. Okay, the reason I'm asking you to do that is it's going to okay. tell me if it's a defense slot, an offense slot, or a utility slot, and I can give you a piece of something to put in it that'll help you. Okay, well I just bound it, and now. Okay. It says it. It's like it's. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem. It, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It says hold control and right click to modify the item, but it's not doing anything. Just switches it. And I'm holding down control and right clicking. It just switches I, it out of my inventory. I, I mean, I don't. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> It just made me equip it or unequip it. That's all it did. It's just well, like just like left or you know, just like left clicking on it. it just, are you sure you're right clicking? Yeah, I know what my right is to, compared to my left, dude. Uh, I just to switch it out. That's all it does. That is bizarre. Hold on a second. I'm gonna stop sharing. I want you to share your screen. If I could share my screen, we'd be doing it on my screen. <laughs> Remember, we went through this already. You can share your screen. I'm back. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in the control booth. I'll bring it up. Yeah. I have the only thing I have an entire screen is my actual Streamyard screen. The only thing I have in Windows, a window, is my actual Streamyard screen. And bring bring that up. And then click on the game. Now click on the game. Yeah. And? I'm in the game now. It doesn't bring it up. Yeah, that's what I'm telling We went through this before. That's why we I, used I, it. I see. I saw that. Wow. Now minimize your, uh, your, your windows or your internet. Um, I I had it when it um, minimized already because I was being able to see the other screens and stuff. Uh, that is so freaking weird, does, Pops. Only you, only you does this weird shit happen to. Dude, I, I can't even take screenshots <laughs> with this computer. You know that? It just doesn't do the things. All right, I'm going to remove. Now I got another thing open that I can't close because of this, actually. <laughs> It won't let me kick it. Yeah, I know. It won't. It, it's like, um, yeah. <laughs> there it goes. Uh, I'm telling you, the reason we shared on your screen, we went through this, dude. If you don't remember, it's like we tried to get my screen to work and it wouldn't. That's why we shared it. Because you said you didn't like yours because it was too dark. Remember? All right, I'm sharing screen. So we tried to do it with mine right. and it just didn't okay. work all right i'm sharing my screen you got me yeah you're up all right follow me hold up now i gotta get back over to my screen don't take off on me all right where'd you go right arrow? You. all right no nope, ignore the arrow
these are the totems we have to destroy. Each of them is going to spawn one of those red phantoms. Oh, like that? That guy? You can't run, dude. All right. Now, these totems, we got to destroy them. All right. That should be one of five. Correct? Yep. yep. leave and then you said hold on I'm going to grab this and and then you aggroed a bunch of ghosts <laughs> grab you loot there you got loot it's Bye. probably just going to be another one of them stupid unmistakable No, well I mean if it is yep that one is alright oh, shit I hope I didn't just shoot something I don't know what the hell you did out. you just aggroed Oh, these, don't worry about these guys. These guys ain't shit. I don't even waste a big one on them. Yep, and it was for nothing because that was not loot. All right, press your I button. Uh huh. Exclamation point, third tab. Uh huh. You have an unmistakable whatever. Yeah. yeah. Click, click and hold and drag it out of your inventory and just drop it. Why? So I can pick up five more? No, you won't pick up any more. Did you do it? Yep. All right. That purple puddle beside you is going to attack you. That was you that time. I don't have a ranged attack. I'm standing back here minding my business in single shots. <laughs> I don't have a ranged attack to aggro anybody. You just were that close, I guess. I reckon. Let's take out this green ghost right here. He's in the way. Uh, not anymore. Up this hill. these what what's in this crate it says investigate crate do it uh, uh, now I can't get by the crate come here oh growth amulet and three percent catalyst yep you try um, to save it now and then you find loot like that if you look in the crates for your skill item, but they don't matter right now. Uh, the only thing that matters is that you get your skill goes up with each time you investigate from zero to 400, I think. You got loot. Unmistakable evil don't black stone. Pick don't pick it up. I told you. Wait, what was that? There's another. Yeah, another totem. He got me. We're fighting. <sighs> oh, man. Yeah, don't worry about his totem. We already completed the mission. We're going back to witchcraft now. 
All right, fly back to her. Go up high and fly back. Follow the arrow. Turn it in. Exercise regime. Yep. Let me make it primary and you just follow the arrow. You're going to land on top of a well and just interact with it and the mission's over. No, you did not shoot me. You starting fights, Doc. He started fights. He started it. Now we got. Oh my God! We have Mondo bad guys popping out the woodwork. All right, let's go back to witchcraft. Hello. Follow the arrow? Yeah. And then I'm going to have to call it after this one. All right. We'll go ahead and pick up the next mission. We'll just start next time. Send sister. Send a sister. All right. Now, there's always a chance I will go out and play this guy. Just yeah. So yeah. If I get above bug, you just have to pull out one of your other guys. <laughs> No, I can catch you on leveling. All right. Stop sharing. Well, as always, that was fun. Thanks, Doc. It was fun. It was fun. Hey, if you're out there and you're watching, thanks for watching. I uh, just wanted to let everybody know, tune in tonight for Chinch and Pedro. Uh, they got... Uh, who do they got for a guest? Let me see. They got Charlie McFarlane, the writer of The Citizen and Pistol Shrimp. Right on. We'll be checking that out at 7. And, of course, Silver Lion at 11. Um, it's Tuesday night, people. And tune in tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Doc's Coffee Shop. I'm going to go get something to eat. Then i got to come back and set up the show for tomorrow. All right. I don't know what we're going to do. We might do something tomorrow afternoon. I don't know. All right. After, uh, between that and Silver Line or whatever, you know, big, big dead air space from like 2.30 to 8. So we might do something else. You never know. All right. Later, everybody. Take it easy, people. I'm going to play a bunch of commercials because I got a whole bunch of them. A whole bunch of them. This one launched today. Go check it out. Slaughterville 3. small town unlike any other. Lisa and her husband Ray were away from home for a long time. The stress of the world brought them back to their homestead to recharge. The entire family is reuniting once again for a time of faith, food, and fun. The whole town is invited. Come join Ray and his family for the feast of a lifetime. Welcome to the picnic. Slaughterville Book 3, The Cannibal Rednecks, is a 66-page, full-color story of love, loss, and family, set in the small town of Slaughterville. Look for it on your favorite crowdfunding platform. I'm Terry Huddleston, and you're watching the Madness Common Network.
There is a creature in the swamps. It lives to destroy. The beast they call Hogzilla. After his latest get rich scheme goes sideways, Gary Duba, the quintessential Florida man, ends up with a stash of somebody's high end memorabilia. His gal Crystal is on probation and preparing for the fight of her life, squaring off against Australia's queen of combat. Delilah's got her back in training, staying off rich foods and the nose candy. Meanwhile, Gary and his best friend Floyd have been hired to wrangle a massive, abnormally aggressive feral hog that's terrorizing the swamp and wrecking Gary's old neighborhood. Can they bag the elusive monster swine without destroying the Sunshine State? Reserve your copy of Florida Man vs. Hogzilla at floridamancomics.com. We bring it back funny books, y'all. Fairview's coffee has mysteriously gone missing. Mayhem ensues when strange, coffee-craving zombies plague the city. Detective Mickey Potatoes, an overworked public servant, uncovers why ordinary citizens are losing their minds and how to stop the coffee apocalypse. But it involves the Mafia. And when you're dealing with Mafia crime families, nothing is ever easy. The Mafia controls everything in the city, including the police, including him. If he breaks the Mafia, they will break him. So, the city is without coffee. The city is burning before his very eyes, but he's powerless. Detective Potatoes has the power to stop the coffee apocalypse. But if he does, he could lose everything. magazine is just really pulling out all the stops man your guys's production value of this of this magazine has gone insane i mean look at that i mean i remember when you guys it was black and white even when it was black and white i thought your quality was great but damn they have just i mean they just really stepping it up and look at this james corbett boys james corbett genuinely cutting um but also funny and obviously just chaotic and and very fun i love flip city it has brought new types of badassery and integrity to the print medium
not to take out my Tchaikovsky tape. No matter, let's get started. Here we are, Nancy Moon. The last time we left our heroine, she had just joined my esteemed colleagues at level M. And the soldier could not stop talking. A magician with a mummy issues, and a vampire with a checkered past. But there are other teammates she's hit to meet. One in particular might be a little bit shocking for her. I do hope she's not allergic. Back in today, won't you? Like right now. How do you end this thing? How do you put the where there was the brakes on this bus? I forgot. Jazz hands. Jazz hands are brakes.